Hi everyone, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing how to create a multi-textured background for simple cards. This is a very quick and easy way to get a beautiful background that showcases your image. I love a tone on tone and so that is what we're going to create today as well as with an embossing folder, some spritzing and ink blending. Let's start with the brand new all to new craft a flower butterfly bush. There are three layers for this little uh, bushy branch of flowers. I kind of was thinking along the lines of a blue hydrangea when I was um, inking this and creating this card. I think it could really be whatever. I just was trying to get away from um, a purple flower, not because I have anything against purple, um, but just because I think a lot of, um, like the packaging shows purple and stuff. And so I was really trying to show something different, I guess. And because it doesn't necessarily say it's a certain flower, I thought we could create anything we want. I am taking my Simon Says Stamp blending brush and then on the very back layer of my uh, little bush or little flower bud buds here, I am inking it up with Royal Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Ink. For the middle layer, you can see I'm using my Spellbinders Tool-in-One to remove all those little parts and pieces inside. And we are going to ink this up with the Cadet ink. I'm kind of going backwards um, from dark to light instead of light to dark, but as long as you're cleaning off your brush in between color changes, you're still gonna see that difference in color between each layer. This is one of the quickest ways to add some custom color. You could definitely cut all of these different layers from different colors of cardstock if you want to, but if you don't have that many shades of a certain color of cardstock available, ink is a fantastic way to achieve this look. Something else that I think would be kind of fun um, is maybe sprays, paints, uh, watercolor, things like that. If you wanted to create different uh, colors or shades within one color is what I want to say. That top layer, definitely the most delicate, was inked with the marine ink. And I think that looks so pretty. Very, very detailed. There is a couple of little pieces for that top layer that are separate from the main one. And because of that, I have the longest piece, but the short one, I think I accidentally threw away. Or it's stuck in the die, come to think of it. Oh, it's stuck in the die, I can see it. That's funny, on playback I can see that here. I ended up not using it. Um, but I was able to kind of hide that fact because the butterfly is sitting on the flower little uh, branch. So there's that, I wanted to mention it. And since I did forget to use that little piece. On a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of smooth white cardstock, I'm gonna take my same three colors of ink. I am a huge fan of tone on tone. It really doesn't matter what kind of crafting I'm doing. I love a good tone on tone, whether it's card making, whether it's planning, whether it's sewing and quilting, whatever I'm doing. I love tone on tone and it's just something that has really stayed with me through the years. And so I, I kind of just embrace that fact. To really make your dies take center stage, even though we're creating a tone on tone look, because I'm using all three of those same colors from Simon Says Stamp, we're gonna do a couple things. We're gonna add texture to our background. We're gonna sp spritz or splatter our background with a mica stain. And then of course my go-to foam adhesive for popping up the elements. So I have used Marine, Cadet, and Royal inks again. I'm just trying to get a nice seamless blend. I kept the dark down near the bottom. And once I have that, I am going to take this to my plastic box I use for spray, and I am mixing up the mica stain. Now I'm using one from the Halloween, but I'm going to, I think these aren't available right now because they're uh, seasonal. I'm gonna link to some similar mica stains in the description below. I need to pick these up for myself, but just something to give some splatter and imperfection to the background. Then while this is still fairly wet with that splatter, I didn't overly saturate my background. I don't wanna cover up my inking. I am gonna place this in the Simon Says Stamp geometric lattice background and run it through my die cutting machine. 
I love this embossing folder. Look at the detail, you guys. Is that not gorgeous? Inking, splatter, texture. Grab your favorite embossing folder and some splatter this weekend or whenever and give it a try. It is so much fun. Create a bunch of backgrounds. I think it is just a great look for a lot of different cards. I did add a little bit more royal ink to that background layer for my butterfly bush. I felt like it was a little too light. Then for the branch, I'm using Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Ink and Mocha. For the leaf, we are going to be using Fairway Sprout and Field. And I inked them wrong to begin with. So I had to die cut them again because I'm kind of going opposite here. So with the bush, I went dark to light. So the light's up on top. For the leaf, I want to go dark to light, meaning the veining is dark. That's going to be the field color. The leaf is going to be sprout and then the layering piece for the leaf will be fairway. So um, that one's wrong. I wanted to mention that because um, I think it's kind of important. <laughs> So here I'm using the field for the veining and then I fixed it. I did pop everything up with foam adhesive. I was able to hide foam adhesive underneath all the little pieces of the butterfly bush and pop that up. The branch was glued directly to the background and the leaf was popped up as well. For my sentiment, I found a greeting from a Cat's Life all to new stamp set that says, always thinking about you, my friend. I really like this sentiment. Um, I like that it's nice and long and it's that font that I love. I went ahead and stamped that with royal ink on a scrap of smooth white cardstock. And I'm gonna use a Simon Says Stamp sentiment labels die to die cut this into a sentiment strip. You guys know how I feel about my sentiment labels dies. And I'm going to go ahead and die cut that, take some waffle flower foam adhesive strips, place that on the back, and we will pop up the sentiment as well. So it's really kind of a smallish sentiment, but we're keeping with that same tone on tone feel by stamping it in our darkest blue ink. From this, we have just one more little piece to add to our design. I'm using my trusty T-square ruler from Simon Says Stamp to help line up my sentiment exactly straight. I love this little ruler, you guys. It is so invaluable. I've always loved a T-square ruler, but I really like this little one. It's nice and sturdy, and because it's not super long, it's fantastic for us card makers. I'm gonna take some mocha ink now with a waffle flower shader brush and I'm going to ink up the body of my butterfly with mocha. Then for the rest of my butterfly, I'm going to take a blending brush and lemonade ink and I'm gonna ink up the body with lemonade. Then we're gonna take another shader brush, this one a flat shader brush, and I'm gonna take citrine ink and I'm going to pull the dark color from the body of the butterfly out to add that shading. I wanted a big pop of color from the blue background, the blue flower. There's a lot of blue on this card, which is for me is always a good thing. I love blue, but I felt like we needed a pop with our butterfly and I love yellow and blue together. Next, I'm gonna take some foam adhesive and place that on parts of my butterfly. We're gonna put liquid adhesive underneath the body of the butterfly and have that sit on our flower right where I missed the layering piece for the die cut. And then to finish up our card, I'm gonna take a white gel pen and I'm gonna add some dot detail to the butterfly. So kind of around the outline, there's some nice score lines. I think it's kind of hard to see on camera around the butterfly itself. I'm gonna place little dots with my white pen. This is the Signo Uniball pen. It is my very favorite for white. And I'm going to go around with my little dots and then pulling from the center of the butterfly out, I'm going to draw some lines, just kind of nice sweeping little lines coming out from the center, just like that. And it adds a great little detail to our butterfly. We will pop this panel on a white top fold card base and our tone on tone with textured background is done. 
Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this card featuring the new Alt New Craft of Flower Butterfly Bush. The supplies I use to create my card are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon members. If you would like to become a member of Patreon, please click the link in the description below. I would love to have you over there as part of our community. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and don't forget to click the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.